a 4th of July playlist in DJ Pro. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm going to show you how. So it is 4th of July weekend, and I wanted to make a video to help you guys make a great playlist and perform a good DJ set for this holiday. A lot of people like to have barbecues, go on the boat, and, and the, have people in the backyard and stuff like that. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a playlist, switch it to auto mix, and also what equipment would be good for these type of small outdoor parties. So first of all, I would recommend the IDJ to go to touch. This is a great controller built in sound card, and I have my whole DJ equipment right here in this bag. You don't need to bring huge stuff and wheel it in. I just need this, my iPad, and the Bluetooth speaker, and you're ready to, ready to go. So now let's get into what type of playlist that we're going to want to have. So we're going to go over here in DJ Pro. Let me use my mouse so you can see where I am pointing to. All right. So to start making a playlist in DJ Pro, we're going to go over here. And then we are going to go to playlist. And to name the playlist, click here, type playlist, and name it. I already named this one 4th of July 2022. So now we're going to find songs and then we're going to add it to this playlist. And I'm also not only going to do songs, I'm going to show you some sound effects and some really cool ideas to add to your playlist besides just having songs. So we're going to go over here. And the first song that I'm going to add is... We'll go to... So whatever streaming service that you're in, that you have a subscription to, if you use streaming, streaming services, you could go into it. Now I'm in Tidal. So anything I search here is going to be from the Tidal streaming ser service. And then you could add it back to the playlist that we made in our collections. So for the first song that I'm going to do is Fireworks by Katy Perry. Because it's about fireworks and 4th of July is all about fireworks. So now to add this song to the playlist, we go over here, add the playlist, go all the way down, 4th of July playlist. Now it's added there. But since it is 2022, instead of just adding the song, what we can do is add the music video. I definitely recommend if you're setting up a party, a small party for your friends with a little DJ area, have a TV, have a television, have a monitor, so you could play music videos too, along with just music. It adds a lot more fun to the event. So if we go back over here where we searched fireworks, in title, they have music videos. So we could find the music video. So Fireworks by Katy Perry, music video. So now we add it to the playlist, 4th of July. I already added it, so there we go. So now let's go to our playlist. Go here, and then go back to my collection. Go all the way down to where your playlist is. And you guys also could move it up too. So you could take, go all the way down, hold it in, and then put it all the way at the top. And now this playlist is at the top forever, even if you log out of the app, which is convenient because you don't have to scroll down. And then you could also make other playlists that will fit into it. So here we go. I'm just gonna do... So now we have Katy Perry fireworks and the music video. So what we could do is we can delete the regular song because you don't need both. If you click on to add the song, it's going to say video track detected. So would you like to load this in video mode? So if you press yes, then it is going to go into the video mix mode and then you can watch it as a music video. If you press not now, it's just going to be the regular song and you can DJ with it in all the other modes. So I'm going to show you what happens when you press OK. Press OK. Now it is loaded into this deck. So when the song is playing, you'll get to watch the music video. And then also, if you press this full screen button, you can watch it on the full screen 
which if you're just using your iPad with a couple of friends is fine, or if you have it plugged in with an HDMI adapter, it'll be on the TV in full screen, and then if you wanna switch it so you, people could see you DJing, there's a setting once the TV is plugged in, but I'm not gonna get into that too much now. So we have a, our first, first song as a music video. I recommend adding as many music videos as you want, if you're gonna use a monitor, if not, just add the regular song. Now it says up here, we have nine minutes worth of music. So when you're doing a DJ set, when you're throwing a party, you wanna always keep in mind how long is the party gonna be. So 4th of July, people are coming over at five o'clock, having some food, having barbecue, and they'll probably leave at 10 or 11 o'clock. So that's six hours. So over here where it says nine minutes, you're gonna to wanna to add songs for 12 hours. So you have double the amount of songs for the time. It's just a good rule of thumb. It's written in a lot of DJ books and a lot of professional DJs recommend that and I find it works pretty well. So always do double the length of the songs than the length of the party. And the reason you don't do exactly six hours or however long the party is, is because you, some songs you might think would be great for the party, but then you play them or they, come on and then nobody likes them and you have to be able to have backups and other selections and stuff like that. So that's why we do double. So add songs all the way up to the amount of time that you want the playlist to be. But now also here is something that I don't think a lot of people think about when they DJ is with Tidal and with SoundCloud and these streaming services, you have access to not only songs, but you have access to sound effects and DJ effects. So if you type in fireworks sound effects, there's all of these sound effects. You press these three dots and you can hear a sample. So now we can load this into the deck. So we're gonna add this to the playlist. Remember we put the playlist all the way at the top. Now it's added to our playlist. We'll go back to our playlist. And then what we could do is we could take this firework sound effect that we added to, and you could do a couple things with it. Either you could, in this playlist, you can, you can make a sub playlist. So you could do, go here, playlist folder, and then you could put another playlist folder in it, or you could just scatter these effects throughout the playlist. So let's say you have hundreds of songs, you can move these effects tracks anywhere into the playlist and then they'll stay there forever. So if you plan on doing an auto mix, you could have these random firework effects and it'll sound really cool for the party. And if you're doing different types of parties, you could have different types of effects, but for now we're gonna do the fireworks. So we're gonna have firework effect here now I'm gonna to go to my intro playlist. Now I'm gonna add my intro to this playlist. And then in the playlist, I have my intro. So now what I can do is I could play my intro and then at the end of my intro, I could add some fireworks too. So I'm gonna get an echo ready, and I'm gonna play my intro, and then we're gonna add fireworks after it. Hold on, I think. Yeah, make sure you have your volume faders up. So I forgot to have my volume fader up. Let's try this again. And then we had a firework come on after it. So just try to get creative. It's a great way to start off your set by adding these effects. People really appreciate them. And it's the same thing as doing playlists for other types of events, but I just thought I would give you guys some cool ideas for this holiday. 
So if you like learning new ways how to mix, new ways to use DJ Pro, and thinking out of the box while DJing, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Thank you.